Hey guys, it's Miko from Memo Sound Lab and I'm really excited about the new XFX3 firmware 5 and this is the second beta actually and the reason I'm really excited is because it has some enhancements for the dual rectifier which I love and own here as well. Um, what I really love about the Mesa dual rectifier is actually that it's one of the most misunderstood amplifiers in the world. Most people think that it's only for metal and you know um, the reason I wanted it in blue with the flowery leather here is because that's not the case. I think it's one of the best amplifiers for rock. Uh, for metal, I feel like uh, it's a little bit loose, uh, but it can definitely do metal really well as well. Uh, what I want to show you actually is how to get some realistic Mesa dual rectifier sounds now with your new firmware and maybe you'll love the dual rectifier as much as I do after this. Cheers, let's check it out. The settings that you see here are exactly what I used here in the beginning. Uh, just for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna reset this and show you that this is all that I'm really doing. So lowering the bass, the middle is just a little bit, and then turning the presence all the way off. And that's all. That's that's essentially what I do to get this to sound just like my real dual rectifier. Um, and already um, you can hear that. <laughs> And it sounds really good and you see that I really didn't do anything much. Um, obviously the IR plays a huge part and I'm using the Zilla Tortilla mix from, <laughs> from the newest cat pack. Um, but you know, you can use another good IR as well. Uh, one of the most confusing controls on this amplifier is actually the drive. Um, as you can see I only have it at 5. It actually sounds really good when you lower it down to like here as well. So this is still a very usable sound. And I've even done metal with uh, drive at four, and it's really good that way as well. I wouldn't ever really put the drive past six, and this is where you start to get that low end thing. So that's essentially it. What I really want to show you is that you don't have to tweak it that much. Just be careful with the drive control. And uh, that's really all there is to it. And the Mesa Dual Rectifier is really good. And you can use a modern setting for vintage sounds as well. Uh, it's not that hard to tweak, essentially. Just, I feel like people tend to do this. They boost the drive all the way up. And then uh, they scoop the mids and <laughs> raise the treble and presence all the way up to get it brighter and try to get it in balance and what you end up with is and I think we can all agree that that's not the best sound in the world so just be careful what you do the EQ controls are really effective so you can definitely screw things up but just leave it pretty much at default and be careful with the drive and I think it's gonna be one of your favorite amplifiers in your Axe effects. I hope this helps. Cheers guys. Bye.